because we have some indications that you had some like Halloween type, you know, scary mask or something. You guys playing around with those at any point in time? Or? We bought one earlier. Yeah. We're just going to start first with, you know, name being what's all kind of junk food. We, get, yep. we grabbed most of that the other night. And his, and I, his, I know your name's spelled wrong in the Spillman thing, so we need to get the... Okay. You know, they got T-O-R-Y or Adam check is spelled wrong. So. Okay. Just spell out your name for me if you could. T-O-R-E-Y. R-E-Y? Yes. Okay. And A-D-A-N-C-I-K. And your new address up there is 15 or 1598.2.P.O.I.N.T.E.B.I.E.W.A.2201. Okay, and your phone number up there? 757-7015. Okay, today is the 27th. All my days are running together. And then we are at 7. <clears throat> I'm just going to explain this this rights waiver form to you and your folks. We kind of talked about it before, but um, and, you know, I want you to know now that I mean, you read to your rights so people understand your rights, and so you know, anytime you're interviewed by the police, for the most part, and you're coming down to the station or an interview room here. Um, people sometimes get the impression maybe they're in custody and they're not free to leave. So it's, it's a good time to give you your rights so you understand you know, what your rights are per Miranda. And I'll just go ahead and read them to you. If you have any questions, just go ahead and let me know. It says, before you're asked any questions, you must understand your rights. Okay? You have the right to remain silent. However, anything you do say can and will be used against you in court. Okay? You have the right to talk to a lawyer for advice before you're asked any questions and to have him with you during questioning. Okay? Um, you have this right to the advice and present floor even if you can't afford to hide one. Hire one. That means if, you know you can't afford to hire one. That you get a public defender. That's what that means. Okay. Um, <clears throat> uh, so one will be pointed to you. If you wish to answer questions or make a statement at this time without a lawyer being present, you have the right to refuse to answer any questions. Okay. And to have this interview terminated at any time. Okay. okay. Do you understand those rights? And in a nutshell, it means that you know you understand that anything you say can and will be used against you. Same token, if we ask you something you don't like, you don't. You're not. You're not being forced to ask any questions. Okay. okay. The second part of this is just merely a waiver, and the waiver says that I read you the form. That I have read you the statement of your rights, and I've shown you, um, which, uh, and I've told you what your rights are. Okay? okay, I desire to answer questions and make a statement without first consulting an attorney, which I think you have today, and without having a lawyer present at this time. Okay, which you have your parents here because you are a juvenile, and you know they have rights over you there. This decision is voluntary on your part and your parents' right. No promises or threats of force of any nature have been made against you to get you to come in here and talk. Okay? okay. So again, it's voluntary. It's totally on your own free will. We're just going to sit, and there'll be a, you know basically five people in here um, talking. And if you can just sign it right there. It's just your signature that you understand your rights. Okay, I'll just sign it. Can we witness it here? About 707 now. That's it. <clears throat> well, uh, we'll just kind of start first and we'll be taking some notes and don't 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 get upset from taking notes and not looking at you. It doesn't mean anything, it just means that you take notes so we can remember. Okay. Okay. Um, <clears throat> we're going to start about, I know we talked the other night about, um, you know, first of all, why we're here. And uh, we're investigating a homicide. Yes. That, uh, that Cassie um, Stoddard was, was, was murdered. Yes. And, um, and uh, because of the fact that you were, you know, one of the last three people, you know, there, and you had knowledge of her and stuff like that, it's a common course that we want to go and, and interview people and find out what you know. Okay. okay. As I recall, the other night, we, um, um, we did get a statement from him. Okay. 
you know, we'll tell you that, you know, me and Andy talked after that, and you know, we knew you weren't telling the truth, okay? Okay. Um, and uh, we're not holding that against you. Okay, we're not mad, we're not upset, we're kind of used to that, because people lie to us a lot. There's a lot of different reasons. I mean, you're scared, you know, little things bother you. But tonight, I just, I just want to make sure that, you know, I know we said this the other night, but I want to make sure that you understand that the truth is really important. Yes. And for us to kind of clear you from this, or or help help us understand, you know, we can use you as a witness here, and, and, and we just kind of want to be able to, you know, bring things together. Okay? Uh -huh. And so your honesty is so very important. I know your parents have told you that, you know, that you need to really be upfront with us. Okay? And we're going to ask you some pointed questions, and if you don't know the answer to that question, and you just don't know, don't try to make it up to please us. Okay. We, don't, we don't want that. So, anyway, um, we'll go ahead and start first. I mean, I guess, as I recall in the statement before, you, you've known Cassie for about how long? From 10th grade. Okay. So you've known her for, for a little while. Yes. Okay. Um, so what is your relationship with Cassie? Friends. Okay. Is it any, uh, you ever dated her or anything like that? Or just no. your kind of friends? How often do you see her maybe during a week? Uh, every day at school, but this would be my third time hanging out with her outside okay. of school. Fair enough. Let's talk about Friday, and I think the date was the 22nd, and that was the night that you guys went up there to visit. Can you tell me about a little bit about maybe at school or something, how you learned or how you come to go up to Cassie's place or out to that place she was housing? She told me on Thursday okay. that we, she was having parent, uh, baby sitting in the house, basically. Okay. House sitting. And she just said that invite whoever you want. Yeah, as like a party. So this was going to be Friday night a party. Now, did she give you any details about who she was house sitting for? Had she ever done it before or where that house was? Yes, she said she's done it before okay. and the people she's related to him. And, and they pretty much are just uh, uh, pot smokers. Okay. So she goes out there and the whole thing, she, she's just basically watching over the house for the weekend while they go out of town, correct? And that's what you understood? Yes. So Thursday at school, you're talking about, she's saying, I'm going to do this Friday. You guys come out, we're going to have a party. Yeah. Did she say what time the party was going to begin? Well, it wasn't technically a party. She didn't say we're going to have a party with okay. booze and stuff. She just said invite some people. Okay, just maybe get together. Yeah. People go hang out and yeah. do whatever. Okay, but did they give a time that it was going to start or just come out and No. Okay. So at some point in time, did you, did you tell other people about this? Yes. Okay, so it's maybe common knowledge at school that yes. she was going to have a few people over. It was. But it really wasn't going to be this big one party lot of or anything like that, right? Yeah, but yeah. Just kind of get together. Um, at what point in time did you decide that uh, you were going to go out there? And uh, we were planning to get up there around 8 and when, when you say we, who's, who's we? Me and Brian. Okay, and Brian is Brian Draper. Draper. He's a friend of yours? Yes. And how long have you known Brian? Since 10th grade. Okay. Um, so should so you say is Brian a good friend? I mean, yes. Are you guys pretty close? Yes. You share a lot of common likes and dislikes and all that kind of stuff. So you guys hang out on a regular basis. You hooked up with Brian and you said, Hey, we should go to this. We should go to Cassie's place. Yeah, we were planning that during school. Okay. Did Did you know that Matt, her boyfriend, was going to be there too? Yes. So, and you also familiar with him? Yes. Friends with him? Mm hmm. Coins. I hated him last year. Okay. And then I didn't really hate him. I didn't really know. Him. Right. I just what, what disliked was, him at school. Just liked him because uh, I don't know. It's a lot of things. Just the way he acted, or he annoyed me pretty much. Okay. <laughs> Fair enough. And then this year he was going out with Cassie, and Cassie's one of my friends, so I just made peace with that and okay. just talked, started talking to him. Okay. Did, were, were you over to Cassie's house on Thursday, or did you do this at school? Uh, we planned it at school. So you didn't, you, you wasn't at her house on Thursday? No. Okay. Okay. Have you ever been to her house? Yes. When was the last time you may have been to her house? Thursday. We went to her house Thursday, yes. <laughs> okay, so now you remember that? Yeah, okay. we did. All right. It was 
You mean it Cassie's was house? Thursday was, uh, night. Cassie's house. Her her residence where she lives, not the place yeah, where she's house sitting, but where she mom. lives with her mom. Maybe yeah, I missed, it was screwed that up. Thursday, I think. Okay. So you I'm not your... sure the exact date, okay. but I'm pretty positive it was Thursday. Me and Brian went up there, and then she told us about the house at school okay. that day. Did did she give you directions? Yes, she told me an address and I wrote it down at school. Do you remember what it was off the top of your head? No. Do you remember what the name of the street was? Uh, Whistling Cliffs. Okay, something to that effect. Yeah. You knew it was basically, would it be fair to say that you knew it was north of town? Yes. I mean, so it's out there in the, the country, if you will. Okay. But you wrote it down somewhere? Yes. And where was that that you wrote it down? On a piece of paper, a loose leaf. Yeah, you still have that piece of paper, you think? No. Okay. Okay. And you don't have that right Okay, so, so you guys decide to go, plans are made, um, it's Friday, what time do you get ready, what time do you end up, how does it work out that you and Brian head out to, what time all this we referred to as Whispering Mom? Cliffs, okay? Yeah. Fair enough? Mom, what, what time did I leave from our house? Um, on Friday. It was after I got back from taking Jamie to the game. It was about 6.30 or 7. Yeah, 6.30-ish. About there. Okay, between 6.30 and 7. Yeah. You left your house. Yeah, and I went and picked up Brian. Probably, yeah, between 6.30 and 7. Okay. okay. I so went and left his house. And, um... Picked up Brian. You were driving your yeah. red, that red, is it you? Yeah. Okay, yeah. And that's your car, you get back and forth in. So you drove that to Brian's house, which is located where? Uh up on Shell Drive by the okay. Box. Okay, and that's, uh, all right, so I'm familiar with that, it's just yeah. out Panic Highway and up Johnny Creek. Yes. Bit. Okay, all right. Okay. I what time do you up. think, yeah, go ahead. I picked him up, and then... About around what time do you think it was? Uh, I don't know, maybe 7, 12, between 7 and 7.30. Okay. Between there. 30, picked up Brian. Did you um did you see anybody at Brian's house? His mother there? Did his mother I uh, talk to you at all? I can't remember. I think I just picked him up and we left. Okay. Fair enough. So you guys left there, then what then what happened? Did you We did just you, went straight. You went to straight there? Cassie's. You didn't stop at the store, you didn't get gas, you didn't do anything like that on the way. No. Okay. Tell me about uh, what you were doing on the drive out there. Uh we just pretty much called Cassie and, uh... How many times do you think you called Cassie? Yeah, I'm going to really refer fun. to some, uh, see if we can match up some phone calls. So fair enough? Yeah. From your phone. Um, I've got, uh, I've got around, uh, um, let's see here. I got about 8.04 p.m. that Tori, you're calling the house out of Whispering Cliffs. Yeah. So do you think that was maybe why you were... Yeah, that was probably around. directions. You got about a three-minute call. Yeah. So you're calling, maybe getting directions. The first yeah. call, do you remember what you talked about or who you talked to on the first we call? We talked about... We talked to Cassie. Brian okay. talked, actually called her. And Brian said, asked Cassie if she was upset because she sounded like she was upset. So, so maybe I missed it. Did Brian talk to Cassie? Yeah, Brian okay. talked to okay. Cassie. So you were driving? Yeah, you were, I was you were, driving. All right, so Brian was making phone calls. Yeah, and he kept asking, are you all right, Cassie? He okay. said she sounded upset. And then she gave the phone to Matt, and Matt gave him directions. Okay. So then you hung up from that phone call and continued driving. And then I, I got another phone call on your cell phone, Tori calling, uh, whispering close at 8.09 p.m. So yeah, that was about five minutes later, something yeah, like that. Yeah, to get further directions. Okay, so first directions maybe weren't so good. No, uh, we just said when we get there, we'll call Okay, you. when you get closer. Yeah. Okay. Then I got another call. I think it's about at 8.13, and I got Tori calling, which yeah. is clips again, and this is like a six-minute call. Yeah. So it's a little longer call. Were you talking on the phone? Well, or was Brian? after that, we, Brian talked on all the phone calls to him. And that was when we got in the neighborhood, mm -hmm. and we were just following roads. They were telling us okay. to take. Okay. And then, I guess one other call I wanted to ask you about, um, and then we'll talk about the rest later. But we got. Well, we can talk about it later because I think it's. Is, is your number seven five seven seven zero one five? 
That's your number. Yeah. So he called you that night sometime. And, yeah, and asked him if he could go to the movies. Okay. All right. So we'll put when we get to that one, we'll uh, we'll put that one there just to stay on track here. All right. So made those phone calls. We get those phone calls. The directions. You you finally arrived there. Uh -huh. I assume. <laughs> yeah, we arrived there while we were still on the phone. Okay. So where did you park again? Can you give me In, an idea? Uh, Maybe we should. I wonder if we should have him draw that. Sure. Park. I might have to grab the little pen for you. He's grabbing the pen. Yeah. I wonder if we should call your mom and see if she could pick up Jamie. Throw that pen under. What time is it supposed to be done? It's supposed to be done. Eight o'clock, eight thirty. What time is it? Seven twenty. So we'll leave it. Uh -huh. We'll leave it eight. Okay. To make There's sure it's not ready. Okay. There's the deck. The stairs down from the deck. Here was a the garage right here. Okay. And here was a. I think there was a separate garage. I'm not sure from the house. Okay. And. I just parked in front of that right here, and there was another car next to mine. Okay, just put maybe an X on the car that's yours. Fair enough. Yeah. So then we know. All right. So we'll just kind of we'll use that as as we go, and then it'll kind of help us, you know, get, get the big picture. Okay. All right. So you arrived there, and did I ask you what time that you got there? You think roughly what time you got there? About eight fifteen, eight thirty. Okay. Did you say you were still on the phone? Yeah. Okay. That was the call that you were getting directions around the streets. Yeah, right? yeah, and that Longer was. I think the last minutes. call I see is about eight thirteen or something yeah, like that. Yeah, that's so probably right the time we got. There. You're still on that phone. Yeah. You hung up as you said. Oh, I'm here. Yeah. All right. Fair enough. Um, <clears throat> so, uh, so you arrived there. What? What happens when you get there? She, Cassie and Matt gave us a tour of the entire house. Just back up just a little bit. So you phone the driver. Did they greet you at the door? Yeah, the Matt was outside on the deck, and he waved to us, and then he went inside the house, and we just walked up the stairs and walked okay. in. Okay, so you walked up the stairs. You saw a basement door going in, maybe, and a garage door. Basement. See, this is the garage door right here. Yeah. Was there a door here, a little man door to walk? Did you? Oh, yeah, through? there was. Okay, so you went by that door, but you went up we the went stairs. We went up the stairs. Second level. The front door. Okay. So they greeted you there. Uh -huh. You went inside. Yeah. And what happened as soon as you went inside? Uh, Hi. We looked around where the entry hall, and then we got the tour of the entire house. Did they, they take you on that tour? Yeah, they did. They showed us around. All right. Give me give me a rundown what the house was well, like. First, I went to the bathroom, and then after I got okay. out, now the bathroom. Where was the bathroom? Right. Did you so, went to? Uh, yeah. First door so, on the. Left so far. going down the hall. We have to go up or down. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So I'll call you back. Okay. 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 Bye. And then what was a uh, what was a uh, Brian and Matt and Cassie doing at this time when you went to the bathroom? Uh, just outside talking outside the door. Okay. And then was it after that you went on a tour? Yeah. Checked out the whole place. Yes. What was the house like? I mean, just give me your. I mean, it was pretty big. Okay. Yeah. A lot of rooms. Yes. Okay. Here and there. Did you uh? Did you go into all those rooms, just kind of check it out? Uh, we pretty game? much opened the doors and then closed them. We didn't okay. go in all of the rooms. Okay. But pretty much, you, you looked around, you knew the lay of the land, you knew yeah. what every room looked like. Yeah. Did you get downstairs? Yes. In the garage? Yes. Notice anything in the garage that caught uh, your eye? Like, do you remember seeing a weight machine down there? Yeah, we okay. worked on the weight machine for a okay. little while, and I got in the fridge and ate some. Uh, Would you? Popsicles. Okay. Out of it. What kind of popsicles were they? Just the squeeze. And okay. The, I don't know what they're called. Okay. And that was that in the freezer. Freezer downstairs. Yes. Okay. Do you remember seeing? I'm just kind of walking you through the scene because you know can't expect you remember everything. But do you remember seeing a room downstairs? A bedroom. In, in, like it's kind of a weird room, kind of in the back corner. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I saw that. The, uh, Matt room? told me it was the parents' bed. Uh, oh, their bedroom? Yeah. Well, what about there was a little room oh, in the yeah. back that had in maybe, back. A, whoops, excuse me, a TV he said it, on the wall? Cassie said it was a three-year-old's room. Okay. A uh, kid's room. Okay. All right. So remember down there, see the weight room? Yeah. Uh, the three-year-old's room was behind, like you have the 
the parents. Here's the stairs there. that go down. It's in the back of them. Yeah. Yeah. He's talking about the one that's in the garage. That little weird. Oh yeah. Room. Matt said it was a, a room to smoke. They smoke in. Yeah, I've heard people make about like a stone room yeah, or something uh, like that. Yeah. Hot locks it. Yeah. Okay. So go in there. So did you go in that room? Yes. What did you see in that room? Anything? I uh, I saw the TV and I was looking through the movies on the floor. Okay. What kind of movies were in there? Uh, stuff like Kill Bill, House of Corps, and a bunch of kid movies like okay. Brother Bear. Did you see anything that caught your eye? Uh, no. It was just like a basic room with the TV okay. and a couch. Oh, as far as like you know, videos or anything uh, you I'd, was gonna watch. Or yeah, something. I just wanted to watch a few of them, but we never did. Okay, so you never did watch a movie where you there? Oh, uh, we watched Kill Bill Volume Two. Okay, where did you find Kill Bill Volume Two? Upstairs. Okay, and that was in the uh, in the other movie stack in the living room. Okay. So maybe I got ahead of myself a little bit with your dad. You doing a tour, checked out downstairs, and then did you eventually, did you all we go back upstairs? We just went upstairs afterwards, and then I put in the movie, and then I watched And that was Kill Bill Volume yeah. 2, like, I think you said that the other night. Yeah. Okay. And I started watching that, and then they muted it twice because they got a phone call that she didn't recognize the number, so she never answered it. Okay. So you were, where did you, can you, is there any way that you can maybe draw the, the, the living room where you're sitting so you yeah, would know where you're sitting in there? The hall. If they pinned up one, they might be another one there. Here's the hallway, and then here was the living room off to the side. Okay. Like that, I think. Okay. And then here was the kitchen. Okay. And inside that living room. Uh -huh. Was where was the TV mm -hmm. and where were you sitting? The TV the couches? was right here, and the couch was a wraparound couch. Okay, where well, where did you sit in there and watch the? I movie? watched that on the front floor. Okay, on a chair or just on the front? On the chair. What kind of chair? Was it a chair? It was a banana chair. Okay, All right. Okay. Watch the movie. Did you watch the whole movie? Uh uh, just about forty five minutes, and then we went downstairs and worked out on the gym a little. Okay. Then what? And then we went back upstairs, and Matt Brian kept saying he had to go because it was. Uh, we just had. He had said he was going to call his mom, mm -hmm. and so we left, planning to go. We we knew the movie started at ten, but we never got around to going to that. Okay. So we Let's left. Talk a little bit about before we go there. It's just, so it's so Brian saying he has to go home. Yeah. Here at the house. He was pretty, I think he was just anxious to go to the okay. car. So is it safe to say? I mean, the party wasn't going on, right? I no. Mean, it's, it's not a party for the most part. It's just four of you there. Yeah. So it didn't turn out to be the party. How, why do you think nobody else showed up? Um, I don't know. We never called anybody. We okay. could have called people, but we just never did. All right. So they just kind of... I think Brian didn't really want to have a party. He more of just wanted to go to the car. Okay. So it was just kind of a bummer's party. As far as yeah. To... And I think we were actually planning to have a Saturday night more than Friday night. Okay. All right. So at some point in time, Brian says, you know, i got to go home. Is that what he said? Yeah. Remember what time that was? Or what time he told you he had to be home by? He told us he had to be home by 9.30. And okay. he left by 9.30. So he was like just saying he was gonna be late. By nine thirty. Um, so it's nine thirty, you guys decide you're gonna leave. Yeah. What time did do you think you actually left the place? About nine thirty eight. Uh, between nine thirty five to nine thirty and nine forty. Okay. So between somewhere between nine thirty five nine forty. Well not so specific. Okay. More of nine thirty between nine forty five. Okay. So, so it definitely before ten though. Yes. So sometime. Yeah. Okay. All right. Now I wanted to know if you could come with us, and me and Brian. At that time. Yeah. Right there? And we said that he wanted to stay the night at my house, and I said I should ask my mom first, and I told him that uh i should tell my mom ask my mom in person rather than over the phone i was never really wanting him to stay the night <laughs> okay so he asked at that time yeah. can i just go with you guys and i'll stay yeah. the night at your house and you said uh probably yeah. not a good idea in your own head so yeah you blew it off <clears throat> you had to ask your mom yeah and then we went out we drove 
up the neighborhood. Uh, we drove up the street a little, actually, and just parked. Under Can I just the... back here before. I just want to know what door did you leave through when you guys left the house to go? Uh, wherever you went. I think one time when we were at the house, I left out the back door. Just, I don't know. The why. back door as in? The bottom and under the stairs. Okay. So you I don't mean on the other side of the house, you mean that yeah, bottom? Yeah, that bottom door. stairs. I left out that door, and then I came back in that door, and then we left. But that was a while before that. That was when we were working out in the gym. So, 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 so I got this straight. So you downstairs playing on the gym? Yeah. Equipment. And you might have went out that door? Yeah, I Where'd went out go? that door. I just walked. I was going to go to my car, but I never really got around Okay, that so then you turned around you came back in yeah. the same door? Yeah. Okay. And the, do you remember when you two left? Uh -huh. Julie, did you guys go out that door or did you go out the top door? We went out the top door. Okay. 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 So you left. You got in the car. You're still driving? Yeah. Okay. It's your car. It's yeah. your passenger. Where'd you go? We backed up. And we took the same route we got to get in, and we just parked right before the road off to getting out. And we waited there for about. You got a piece of paper, and maybe we'll have to kind of give us an idea on the street so we can know where park. I don't know the neighborhood, though. Yeah, if you just put a little square for maybe the house that you were at and, and kind of where you maybe. There's give us a house. general idea. Here's the driveway. Okay. Uh, the road, if I remember, this one curved up. Okay. And this one, we just went straight out here, and there's a road that came this way, I think. And we just went up this road, and then, t and then just turned right here and parked. So it was it was it like how far away do you think from the house was it? A block or two. Maybe a block? Okay. So yeah. out of the sight of the house? Yeah. Okay. And so you parked, did you park in someone's driveway or did you park out in front of their house? Uh, or did you see any houses near it? We saw, there was a white house, a brick house, white brick bricks. House. White brick. Okay. Okay. So, so what was the purpose of par parking there? We were scoping the neighborhood to, Why? because we were planning to go through cars. When you, when you say go through cars, what do you mean? Oh, see the ones that are open, we don't go through any with the arms or that are locked. We just walk by, push the handle, and if it's open, we get in it and still the gas money or change. So, so have you done that before? Uh, once this year and in ninth grade. Okay, so something that, I mean, familiar with, I mean, you... Yes. Okay, you do that, do you think it's real frequent, or just, you say just a couple times? Just a couple times. Okay, so this is fairly new to you, yeah. stuff, it's not... You're not old pro at it. You don't go no. out every other night and do this kind of stuff. No. Okay. What? What? Uh, you know what prompt? I guess I'm assuming you and Brian decided to do this together. No. Or he's not doing. I did it in doing? ninth grade before I was friends with Brian with Adam. Dyson. But that night. And then Adam got busted, and I didn't do it. Not, but after Adam got busted, I didn't do it anymore. And then I didn't do it anymore. Tenth grade summer, or I mean ninth grade summer, and I didn't do it. Tenth. <laughs> I didn't do a 10th grade summer, but we just barely started up on a weekend of our, of our junior year section two weeks ago before this one. Okay. And you know that's, you know, standard term is that for, that's burglary. You yes. Know, vehicle burglary. Yes. So you know that's against the law. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Uh -huh. All right. So did, uh, so when you parked there, uh -huh. Where did you where'd you guys walk to get into these cars? Were there some cars in the area that you got into or did, did you how the hell that go you? Much got out of the car, I'm assuming, at that point in time. Yeah. We got out of the car. We got out and we looked around for about fifteen minutes. Look around, what do you mean? We just stand we just like for? we just like, okay, here's where we are, we'll go we might go this way, this way, and then this way. Okay. And which then, which way did you end up going? To and you? then we got back in the car and we called Matt because we were planning to invite him to go with us. Okay. But okay. we didn't want to have him. me just a little bit because I'm not quite understanding what. You guys get out of the car. Okay. And you're out of the car for we 15 minutes. We just look around. And did you stand in one place? No, we walked out down a little to the road and then we'll turn around we'll walk down this way and walk down this way. So, so for about 15 minutes you're out there. So this is... So you left 9.35, 9.40, so, yeah. so for the next 15 minutes, 
you're you're walking around. And are you yeah. looking for cars? So you no, we're not. We weren't planning to get in them until Matt was with us. So then we got back in the car and we called Cassie's house. Matt answered. Was this was this after the 15 minutes you? Yes, after the called? 15 minutes we got back in. Let me the see car. if I got any phone calls from here. Um, we got that one call we talked about at 9:31. Yeah. Um, was it, so that was called to you. He was asking for somebody at home, yeah, asking I mean, if he could spend the night. Is that the oh, yeah, first? Yeah, the movies. Okay, the movies. the movies. All right. Okay, so we got that one taken care of. Now I, I got one here. It's a 9:46. Yeah. Tori called. Matt. Matt. Okay, and it's about a, a two-minute call. And we said. So is this after the time? Is this? Is it safe to say, had you been standing around for 15 minutes scouting things out? Or did probably not 15 minutes, probably about 10. We well, had been there for 5 and 10 Park minutes. Parked the car, you got out, you looked around, then you gave him a call. Yeah, and then we called Matt and we said, we said, uh, first call is about Matt, can you still want to, we didn't say, do you want to go with cars, do cars with us? Because we didn't want him to know unless we knew we could. So we said, are you still staying the night? And he said, no, I called my mom and she can't, she's not going to let me. And so we hung up the phone, we drove down back to Cassie's house and we parked like right here, right off of her driveway. Okay. Out of sight, but off her driveway. What time do you think that is? Right after the phone call. So about 9.50. Okay. And roughly, this does to make it. So you went back and you parked. How did you park the car there? Just uh, parallel. There was no other cars around. Could it have been parked against traffic? Uh, parked the wrong way in the street? Yeah, it could have been. Okay, can you mark it off where you head on the wrong side of the street? It was right here, so what do you mean mark it off? Okay, were, you, were you facing, yeah. on, were you parked on the wrong yeah. side of the street or were you parked legally? The front. It was parked illegally. Okay. So, so if I understand this right, you were parked traffic <coughs> goes this way. Yeah. You're, you're, you were we facing. Just, we just went like that. And all right. So you, all right. So you're on that side. I got yeah. it. Maybe we just put an arrow so I, so I know where your car's pointing. Fair enough. Okay. Okay. Parked there. It's about nine fifty. You parked there. Yeah. Now, 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 what are you doing? You called Matt. Well, what was the whole idea with the? We were gonna. What did you learn from that telephone call? Did, was Matt coming? He was couldn't he, stay so the night, so he mom's was coming to, to get come. him. Yeah. So you left it. At, okay. And so then we got out and we went up this road a little ways. We got in about maybe three cars. Yeah. I got maybe a dollar out of it, and we walked back to my car. Okay, let's talk about these cars because now it's pretty critical that we know you know where these cars are and and so you can walk us back to these cars and so we know you know exactly you know where these cars are parked remember you know, the description of the cars the color of the cars what kind of door handles they had on them and uh, i don't know what kind of cars i don't usually pay attention to that we passed a lot of cars and were these cars parked on the street were on the parking? street we don't they're all parked on we the street. don't go into cars that are uh, on in driveways usually. Um, when you went into these cars, so you, so you don't, you can't give us like a color of a car. Oh, I've got like the first white one. Something. one. Okay, a white one. Uh, I can't remember what kind it was. So. Uh, a white one. Just white one. Okay, yeah. when you got into it, door open. It was unlocked. Yeah, door open. What, what door? The driver's door. <laughs> <laughs> so was it a uh, four door, two door? Four door. Just four door. Yeah. Okay. Remember it had tinted windows. Remember any details yeah. about that car? Just a regular car. Yeah. Yeah. The side of the street. Yeah. This is this is the street. Excuse me. On this side. So it's faced. Just parked on the street and it was facing. Yeah. This so is legally parked. Yeah. Okay. So you rolled up dark out there. Yes. No lights on or anything. Pulled the driver's door. Did you get anything out of it? Uh, nothing. Would you look? Would you root around? Yes. We just. We just opened the change thing and... Like where was the change thing located at? In right car? underneath the heater and stereo. So, so like, I mean, are we talking the... Here's the steering wheel, here's the heater, here's the steering wheel, it's underneath that. All right, so down under here. So yeah. Did you pull it open? Yeah, I pulled it open, saw nothing but like pennies and nickels, so I just left it. Okay, did you shut it? Yes. Okay. Are, you, are we going to be able to verify your fingerprints there? Probably not. I used my sleeve to open it. 
Did, okay. did you have gloves on at all? Uh, no, I didn't. Sure, you didn't have no gloves? Yes. Okay. Right. Pull it open, got in there. Okay, next car. So that's so where's where's Brian when you did this? Brian's usually on the other side of the street. So he's working. He's working this side of the street. Yeah, no. a lot of cars on that street. A few, not very many. Okay. All right. So was did, was he popping cars at the same time? Was did you see him get into any cars? No, okay. I saw. Him. Maybe one car I wasn't really paying attention. Okay. Did you have a mask on or anything like that? Were you trying no. to conceal your identity or no. nothing like that? Change any clothes? No. You know, nothing like that? No. Right. <clears throat> How about um, the next car that you went to? So, so I got a street, you got some kind of white car, four door. Yeah. Okay, do you know, you can't tell us do you have Idaho plates on it or any, anything that you can kind of... I don't really look for that stuff. Okay, um, try to think anything that could... Um, Help us go back to this car and just identify it. So let's talk about the next car that you went to. Uh, I don't know. I, the, the few of them were just had. But the next car after that white car? It was, the, it was a pretty bare street, though. Okay. You said you got like into three cars on that street? I got up to three cars. I didn't get okay. them all. What was the next car that you got up to um, after that white car? Uh, uh, it was a truck. Okay, truck. What, what kind of truck? Probably a Ford. Okay, pickup. Probably. Um, or what, what was it? Maybe pickup. Probably. Remember what color it was? Uh, no. White. White. Uh, yeah, white. Okay. Have any two tone colors in or anything? I just white. Just white. Okay. Um, um, was it, you know how these things are standard cabs, or regular yeah. cabs? Did you no, I remember seeing that? that? Okay. Um, old one? Old one? New one? Fairly new. Okay. And what door did you try on it? Uh, the driver's door. Driver's door. Okay. Okay. We didn't get into it. It's locked. Yeah. Okay. What about the next car on that block that you went to? Red one. It was a red car. So it's a car? Yeah. What kind of car do you think? Any? Mm, most likely a Honda. Okay. Where was it? So it was just so I know. Mess. So so they're parked. So are they in? Are they in like a succession? You know what that means? Like you got the white car, and then the pickups <coughs> further down the street, and then this red car is further. So yeah, they were pretty spaced. Apart. Okay, but you had to keep going that way to get yeah. to you know the furthest car that you've gotten to thus far yeah. is the red car. Yeah. All on the same side of that street. Yes. Okay, parked about the same way. Okay. Got to the Honda. You think it was four door or two door? Uh, the, the Honda was a four door. Okay. And what happened? You got to that car. It was locked. Okay. And you tried which? I tried the both doors, which are on my side. And then I just okay. to, we turned around. Me and Brian. Both drivers. You don't see what what Brian's doing at this time. No. Usually they're either a pretty space. Okay. Is Brian wearing gloves at this time? Uh, he might add gloves. Is that something he usually would do? Probably. Okay. Did he get anything? I mean, did he score any? He didn't. Out of jail? No. And you didn't score the anything? The richer neighborhoods usually have, lock all their doors and have uh, security systems in them. Okay. So, was that was that it with the cars? Did you cut your losses? And then we turned around. Them? I got maybe a dollar and change. From? Uh, not at that time, not in that 15 minutes. No, we're talking about, we're still on Whispering Cliffs up here in the neighborhood. So you're still um, working cars, you just got yeah, done with the... Yeah, we went back after 15 minutes after we got done with that road. We came back, we called them at the second okay, time. Okay, I'm, I'm, I'm losing it because probably that's pretty bright. Okay. But, <laughs> that's probably the thing, but um, you, you get to, you get to the... Um, after the, red the third car, car the third the car, car. Then, then what do you do? It's locked. Yeah, it's locked. So we just, I see Brian, I'm like, let's go call Matt again to see So where at. do you go to call him? We go back to my car because I left my, I leave my cell phone and wallet in my car when okay. we do this. Walk back to your car. Did you get in the car? Uh, yes. Okay, sat in the car. We got sat in the car and then we, and then I called Matt and... So that would have been, what time do you think? Second call. So, um, so, 
So did we already talk about 1001? No. We talked the 946 mm -hmm. was the call. Mm -hmm. So 946, you know, Tori called the house. Okay. And then I got the next call that you make on your cell phone is 1027. Yeah. You call Whispering Cliffs. Yeah. So does that sound about right? So yes. it's about so you get back to this car after casing some cars in the area. Mm -hmm. The last red car you walk back to your car is 1027. Okay? Fair enough. Okay, so you make that call. You talk to who on the phone? Uh, Matt. What do you say to Matt? I said, so do you think you can stay the night or not? And he said, probably not. And his mom said no, and that she had a surprise for him. And he so told you that. He said, yeah. he's not staying the night at your house. Or he asked, can I stay the night at your house? Yeah. Is that where you went? Yeah. Okay. And he said that his mom didn't let him. So I said, oh, that's too bad. And then I told him we were in the theater because I didn't want him to know we were going okay. to the car. So you told him at that time that you were at the movie theater? Yes. Okay. Was that the next call after 9.46? Um, it was. We had um, 9.46, then to 10 one we had a call where Whispering Cliffs is calling your cell phone. Yes. And where were you at Did, that did it connect? Did we, it says here, yeah, it must have, two minutes. Yeah. So, yeah, so we have, we talked about 9.46 one. Did, did he call you about 15 minutes after you talked yeah. to him? What, what was that one about? Uh, that, and he called me. Uh huh. Uh, he just said that I asked him at, when he called me, he's just like, hey, Tori, and I'm like, do you need a ride or something? And he said, no, I don't need a ride. My mom's picking me up. I don't know why he exactly called me. Okay. So you guys talked for a few minutes. Where'd you tell him you were at? At 10.01? I told him we were stuck either. Okay. All right. And then 1027, you said, hey, we're still at the theater. Yeah. Okay. Then we got, so you're still there. You call him on the phone. Then what do you guys do? You're sitting in the car after after that phone call is done. Uh, then we go out for cars again. Same area? Yes. Okay, so you get out. We which which way are you going out? All right. Yeah. Okay. Um, geez, I wish I had that one map. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. Oh, we had a map, map just to the subdivision. It's kind of helpful. And I don't have one, no. Um, okay, so so we got here, you're saying this is this is the the house and you know, kinda of what this thing what I recall it does, I mean you tell me if I'm all messed up, but you got the house here, okay, Cassie's the place she was staying, and this like whispering cliffs is kinda of, it loops around. Yeah. Kind of a weird way. It's almost like a horseshoe, you know, and this is all yeah. whispering cliffs and this is like marble street you know, that runs this way over here. So, you know, you were saying that you may be parked over here somewhere, you guys walk down this direction on the road. Yes. And then you're saying you come back and now you're, you're most likely, because the road bends here, you're walking. Yes. If you're on the road, you're walking back. Yeah. Around this, it's kind of a horseshoe type thing. Does that sound fair? Yeah. Okay. So how far down the, um, the horseshoe, you know, if it goes on this way, how far down do you guys work? And what's the first car you come to then? First car we came to. So it's after 1027, first car you come to. So this is your second deployment, if you will, yeah. from the, uh, to, to go through cars. Yeah. Okay. I can't exactly remember it in order what we went through. Did you remember anything once you went from the second time? Any cars? Uh, I remember actually about 15 minutes afterwards, a truck passing us driving. It was a white Dodge, okay. newer model, okay. and dark tan. Okay. And it just passed us heading towards the see it? Huh? Did, they, did that car see it? Uh, uh, we just, well, it could have possibly seen us Where because whenever at? a car passes, we just act casual and just walk. And we don't even get into cars on that many cars. Well, it's seen you then. Yeah, the probably it definitely seen us. Okay. So, you see that car, so you see that truck go by, do you, do you guys continue looking for cars to get into? Then, after we pass something, we usually just, we went up a little ways and then started back up on cars. What, up a little ways, what do you mean, just kept following yeah, the road? okay, we were walking this way, you know, upwards, uh -huh. we, about right here is when the truck passed us, so we went up a little farther and then started doing it. Stayed on the same street? Yeah. And what, what was one of the cars you came to? Give, give us a give us a description, give us a location, give us a house that was parked in front of. 
Uh, anything yeah. street life that looked weird, tree, I mean, anything you can think of. Um, I don't know, a lot of cars, I mean, a lot of houses had their porch lights on. Okay. But you did check some cars. You did yeah, pull some handles on some did. cars. What what you described some other colors of the cars there. Can you uh, describe it for me on this other end? There was a blue car. Okay. Four door. Four door. That yeah. hard alarm. I didn't even check the head. Didn't have it had an alarm. Yeah. How'd you know? Because when you look in, it has blinking red. Or was the blinking blinking red light at? on the dashboard? Okay. And do you remember, again, I'll ask you this again, do you know what kind of car it was? No. Dark blue, light blue? Uh, yeah. I mean, just blue, not dark. Oh, more to the dark side. Okay, more darker? Yeah. Were there any other cars? Uh... You said you got some money. Did you get... Yeah. What, what car did you get the money out of? It was a... Red car. I I'm trying to think. It had a red stripe on it, and I mean not a red stripe, a black stripe. You know, like a bumper all the way. So you're talking about a red car. What are those? They're like stickers. You told me that they go on the they're on the door and. So. Oh, it's just a, like a belt holding. Yeah. So you got a red car with a black stripe that goes around the bumpers? Yeah, uh, no, 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 horizontal oh, around the door. Okay, just like a molding. Yeah, okay. and then I just got into that, and that's well, where I was, got Was it a four-door, two-door? It was four-door. Okay, so you got into it through the driver's door? Yes. Okay. Um, where'd you get the money? In the change thing. Where was it at? Uh, it was lower by the... Stick shift, so it had a stick shift. Then. Yeah. Automatic stick, or was it just a clutch? I mean, do you know the difference? Is it an automatic yeah, down here, know. automatic? Or? It Your was car is a stick shift, right? You yeah, push it was a clutch. stick shift. So it was a stick shift? Yes. Older car? You got inside of it. You know, sometimes you get into a car, you know it's new, or you know it's old by the way it smells. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know? It wasn't too old. Probably 90s. Okay, 90s model? You got out of the change door, it was like center console? Is that what you're lower, yeah, center. So what was the denomination of the change that you got? Uh, I don't know, just quarters. Just all quarters? No, it wasn't all quarters. I just grabbed a handful, put it in my pocket and left. You still got some of that money? No. What'd you do with it? Mm, I don't know. Oh, it's probably my change thing. Did, uh, did Brian, was he, where was he at during this thing? Any clue? Mm -hmm. And he was on the other side of the street. I've seen him walking, but yeah. Do you guys like keep eye contact in case something yeah, happens? Yeah, we we stick. We're not close, but we're we're far enough to know if something happens. Okay. Any other cars you going through up there? Um, not that I can recall what kind they were. Okay, so you might have gone through some other cars. Did yeah. you get any other items? No. That we can, that you have? That we don't, I don't CD really tapes. still. Uh, yes, I have a CD case. We just took one out of a car? Yeah, I have a CD case. Okay, what car did you take that out of? Uh, a van. Where was the van? White. It was on the street. Was that from that night? I, I can't remember. That was that was from another night. That wasn't from that night. Oh, okay. I better remember. There's a, CD, the there's a CD case that I said, whose CD case is this? You said, and it's, you said it's Brian's. No, you said David's. David's. When was that? And so that is a stolen CD case? Yes. Well, you better start thinking about where you got it. Um, Do you remember it was that night? I don't think it was because I think we've had it for, it's been sitting downstairs in our family room waiting yeah. for David to come and pick it up or whoever's actually Is that the one. same CD case you're speaking of that she's yes. speaking of? Yeah. She probably wouldn't have seen the one that no, you that No, she night. saw the one I saw. On Friday night? It was... It could have been this weekend or it could have been the week before. I cannot no. remember. Okay. I remember no. there was a CD case and I remember saying, when did this CD case, whose is this? And you, and there was all these movies. 
DVDs. Uh, uh, DVDs. CDs. I have a stack of them. Yeah, they were CDs from the CD case. Well, well, what's they they came from that? that CD case? Yes. But not that night or yes that night? I'm pretty sure it was that night. Okay. I you, can't think, really you think it came from a van? Yes. Down on that street somewhere there? Yeah. White van? Yes. Ford? I I know. No, so it couldn't be that night, Tori, because they've been sitting there stacked up for two, three days. Two, three days? Yeah. Well, that was Friday night, though. No, I mean, two or three days before the weekend. I can't remember. Right. Well, we'll think we'll take we'll take the white CD out of computation. Okay, we'll go on to see if we can't you know find something else there. Okay. So, beyond that, was there any other cars you went through up in that neighborhood that uh, night? Probably, but I didn't get anything. You didn't get? Did Brian get anything? Um, Brian got a few dollars. Dollars so I can change? Or? Uh, I didn't. I don't think he went after change. I think he just went after bills. Where did he get the bills? You know? Out of the change. Thing. Okay, so there's kind of money there. Was there, there are no bills in your change thing? Just no, all change. I got all change. Okay. So now what? Are you done? Are you done? And then we went back. We went back. To the car? It, yeah. My car, the car. My car. Mm -hmm. I grabbed my cell phone and I called them at 10.30. Cassie and Matt. Oh, we already didn't we already cover the ten thirty? Well, the third call. Yeah, I've got. We covered the ten twenty seven. You went back to the car, and that's before you took off on your second escapade down here. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then, if you went back to the car and you made another cell phone call, I got one at ten forty eight p.m. To so Cassie. Tori called. Yeah. Whispering clips. Okay, that was the ten forty eight one was. Is that the third call to me? I got three calls. Okay, I know on the third call, I asked Matt specifically if he needed a ride or not because me and Brian were pretty much ready to get out of there. We were done. Okay. And so... But my, hadn't you established that before with him? Yeah, his mom yeah, was I was just saying up? that, you know, just asking him one more time to be sure. And plus... But, but you didn't want... You, I just want to make clear, because when you left there, you said you really don't want Matt to spend the night at your house. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So I just was establishing if he needed a ride or not because I didn't want to have to leave, go down Highline, and then him calling me and saying he needs a ride. So okay. I said, Matt, do you need a ride or not? And he said, no, his mom should be there any time now. So me and Brian just left and went back to my place. Okay. Um, so safe to say it's about 10.48 p.m. You make that yeah. final call and he says, no. Really, man, I'm going home. Yeah. Then what do you guys do? You we and went through our findings. Like Which wasn't much, because you only sent yeah. him some change. Yeah. And did Brian and have something else? Mm, he didn't have any merchandise. He Nothing? Just, mm, he just did he have a couple bucks? So. What? Nothing. <laughs> he just had a couple bucks. Okay. You guys sat in the car. How long did you sit in the car? Is, is there some point in time where you didn't really leave there? Maybe until about 10.55. 10 between, between 10, between 10.50 and 11.05, between that. So what were you doing in this period of time? That That's the time that we were looking through and just gathering up everything. Okay, help me because I'm still uh, looking. Remember? Um, I, so you get back to the car and uh, yeah. you make the fall. It's, it's 10.40, according to the cell phone. It's a two-minute call. You call, you call Matt. And you confirm it that Matt's not, you don't have to take Matt for a ride. He's going to stay there or whatever yes. he's going to do. The long and the short of it is you're not, you're not taking him with you. Yeah. So what do you do then? You guys just, do you sit in the car? You say you went through your stuff, but you said you didn't get much. Like, yeah, so, I just like not, pulled it in my pocket, looked through it, and then dropped it in my changes. Then I got, I went into my back seat, just looked around because all my books and stuff were thrown around out of it, my backpack, from my school. Okay, so you And just, so I just basically straightened that up. What's Brian doing? Brian's just sitting there So, so you're just spending this time yeah, tidying up your car? talking, pretty much, yeah. Okay. Then we got, and then we left uh, between that time that I just told you. So you got done tidying up the car? Yeah, and then we left. Okay, then, then where'd you guys go? You're on the move now. How'd and you get in the neighborhood? We turned around. Okay, so you did. You turned in the middle of the road. Yeah. And then you headed out. 
And then we went out the way we came in. Okay. We couldn't really find our way out. It was a complicated street. Okay. So we had to turn around a few times. Okay. And then we went back to my house. Okay. Um, oh, you went directly back to your house. You didn't stop anywhere in between? Mm -hmm. You didn't go to any other neighborhoods and work any other yeah. neighborhoods? Okay. Um, if Brian would have said you went to any other neighborhoods and worked some neighborhoods, is that is that untrue? That would be untrue. Okay, so that's the only neighborhood you worked up there? Yes. As soon as you were done, you tidied up your car. It's about, what, 10, what did you say, 10, 50? Uh, Between 10, 50 and 11, 05. I'm not sure, okay. sure on the time. All right. You leave, and you drive directly home. Mm -hmm. Okay, what time do you guys get home? Uh... Around 11.20, between 11.30, somewhere right between them all. We, we knew it was before curfew, right? Yeah, we knew it was before curfew, but getting late past 11. Yeah. Okay. Um. So, I'm sorry, what was that time again? 11, between 11.15 and 11.30. Okay. You got home. And Friday night, we picked up Jamie at about 11, right? Got back from picking Jamie up. At the game. Did, at it the game. pretty late. They got out at like 11.15. It was real late. Yeah, because the game started. Oh, yeah. I remember you and Jamie coming home, yeah. and me and Brian were downstairs. I was downstairs watching the game on TV, on the news, and thinking, crap, it's halftime. I'm going to be up forever. <laughs> and then so... I told Sharon it's halftime, and she said, oh crap, it's halftime. I'm not staying up. I was so, tired, yeah. so I said, I'm going to go up and read. So she's up reading, and then I go get Jamie and come back, and Tori's and Brian's are there. Okay. And that was the pokey game. Okay. At the mini dome. At the mini dome. Okay. The second pokey game, or the second game at the mini dome. Second. The one. And they did, they did one game and they did just recap, you leave there, tidy up, boom, you're, you're home, you get home 11, 20 to 11, 30. Mm -hmm. you park in the driveway, I assume? Brian's with you? We parked on the side of the road where I usually park. Uh, okay. I didn't even need to drive that. Yeah, just to... Okay, here's my house. Okay. And here's the driveway. Okay. I, here's the curb right here. The curb right here. Okay. I usually park here. Okay, so you just park right in front. Yeah. That's parked illegally, and here's the mailbox. Okay, so the passenger doors towards, towards the yes. house. Okay. You pull in there, Brian's with you? Yeah. You guys proceed to go through the front door of the house, back door of your house? The back door. Okay. Or not the back door, we went into the garage. The garage. Yeah. garage door opener? No, so now there's a side door right here. When you guys get them in there, I need to talk to you. Okay. Um, so, you get home. Did you check in with did you check in with you guys? Yes. Yeah. Yeah, so Okay, you were in your bedroom? I was. He was downstairs still. Okay, downstairs. So you saw him come home. I didn't see him come home. I came you home. left and you came home. He up. came home. He they got home before he got back from the game, picking up Jamie from the game. Okay. So when you got home, he was home. Uh is that right? That sounds right. I don't know. I Brian and Tori got there. Either, I don't know, either he got home. So how did you know that he was home? Did he knock on your... Oh, yeah, he came okay. upstairs and told me okay. he was home, but I couldn't remember who got home first. Him so you got home. home. What did you guys do as soon as you got home, you and you and Brian? Anybody uh, else home at the house, or is it just... It was yeah. just my mom, and was Lacey home? And Lacey got home probably about 12 o'clock. Okay, and I remember that. Lacey got home right after, and I remember saying, okay, Lacey's home, too. I I'm walked. sorry, Lacey's home at what time? She was home right before 12, too. Okay. Um, what did you do when you home? Watch a movie. What movie? Saving Silverman. How long did that take? Uh, as long as the movie. <laughs> like okay. About an hour and a half. Okay. And then I, me, I was still awake. Brian was almost asleep, so I just put him in another movie and fell asleep to that. You know what time we went to bed? Uh, approximately 1.30 too. I just fell asleep. I don't know. All 
Um, do you guys want to drink or something like that real quick? We'll take a break and see, see what Scott wants real quick. We're just, we're just about done. So. Are we almost done? We, we honestly are. Okay, so then, because our son has to be picked up in like... What if we finish? Could we finish in like 10 minutes? Uh -huh. If his game's probably over, should we leave and go pick him up and come back? Or should we just finish really quick? I think his game will be over at 8.30. Eight. But I don't know, because you never know. Let's just find out what they've got, and maybe we can just get it done and get okay. you guys out of here. So. Okay. Okay. So that's straight. That's everything. Yes. I don't know what time Jamie's game gets over because it started start? at six thirty, so it shouldn't go longer than eight thirty. Oh, it's not. We have to go. We have to go, or I have to go. Okay. Should you I go? go? Take my phone in case Jamie's. Jamie doesn't have his phone. Yeah, he does. I called him on it twice. It's in his pocket he, at the game. It is. Unless should I call him? The car. No, he'll call you. Obviously. No, I mean, should I call him and say if I should leave if it's almost over? He'll be playing. He'll be in the locker room. Oh. He'll be on the field. I'm just saying that right. he would have called you. But of course, you can take my phone so you can call him when you get there and say, are you in the locker room? Okay. If you don't see him. I might if we just, are, we're almost done, we could just leave. I can't leave Jamie waiting. Okay. <sighs> I'm glad you told the truth, Tori. I'm sorry I didn't tell you how important it was the first time. I should have spent a few minutes talking to you. The police came in, they said your friend's dead, and they asked you for a statement. I was just like, wham, bam. And I understand you're worried about the cars. I should have taken you aside before we gave you that other statement. I was just worried about the cars because I said that the cops told him that it was 10 years per car you get in right. in prison. Well, of course you were worried about him. That's a serious thing. You should have been worried about him as you were doing that, Tori. Well, we'll talk, about, we'll talk that about that later. Or the next day. But, yeah, that's it. That's, we'll deal with that later. That point, this point doesn't even matter. What matters is that you... You told the straight story so they can look at everything. Do I just walk out? Yeah, and you, go you get probably need to get out. I'll get it. Because he's, you can't be can't standing. I know he'll call you. But. Okay. I'm going to pick it up a little bit. Okay. Okay, we're at the point you're home, you watch some movies, you went to bed between 1.30 and 2 a.m. Yes. Okay, is there any reason why you left the house that night? No. Are you sure? Yes. Because we're now we're at the point where you got to tell the truth, okay? Because there's some people that saw you common sense later that night. Why are you, which common sense? Common sense at the... Oh, wait, yeah. Me and Brian went down... The, uh, the gas station with Brian wanted a drink he didn't like the pop we had. What time was that? That was maybe one, one o'clock and then after the movie. Could have been later than one o'clock? Maybe. Could have been sometime after one thirty. Yeah, it was probably one thirty. So you guys went to Common Sense and Common Sense I'm talking about is it uh, Alameda or Pocatello Trick and Highline, however you want to. Brian also bought matches okay. because he smokes. I'm going to run and get Jamie. Okay. Okay, and just, I'll call you if I need you. Just come back. Okay. Is okay. she going to be able to get back in or just call you? Yeah, call Scott. We'll make sure you get back in. Do um, I have a number to call? His or number. Just, you can just. His number is. If you go in the right lobby, they'll try to wait for two, four, okay. three. All right. I'll go in the lobby and wait. All right. Do you guys need some help or something? No. She just needs to leave. Okay. To go pick up, and then she needs to wait to get back. Here. Okay. All right. Okay. Thanks. Okay. And then. Brian bought matches. Did you buy anything? No, I didn't even go in. Okay. Sat in the car. 
Brian got in. Then after that, we drove. Can you see Brian smokes? Yes. What kind of brand does he smoke? I don't know what brand. Smoking um, a car? I think he smoked in my. No, he didn't smoke in my car. But I usually don't want him smoking in my car. What kind of matches did he buy? Just a box of 250. Okay, where'd you go then? Then after that, Brian wanted to go up to his house. And we took the way past Century instead of going down through, uh, what's it called? Uh, going down through. Oh. She needs keys. Oh. <laughs> it's my fault. I'm just Damn luck, huh? Thank you again. So you go, so you leave that common sense and you drive down. Usually we go down under the underpass to get to Brian's house down Bannock Highway. But then I went down the road to, that passes Century. So we got lost up there and we just turned around. What time is this? Uh, probably two. Okay. So, so you're out there near Century? Last yeah, time? and we went out farther down through Century, and we could I couldn't find the way to Brian's house from there. Brian didn't know, apparently, either. Right. So we got lost up there, and I made a bunch of turnarounds, and we got back, and then we went to Brian and said, let's go down to, uh, let's go down to the underpass so we could get to his house that way but I looked at my gas and I didn't have enough. And I went to the Common Sense out by Black Rock. I think it was a Common Sense. And I paid all in change, a dollar ninety, I think, for gas. <laughs> and you could probably verify that. Pump uh, videos on the pumps? Yeah, and I got about a dollar. I put about all my change into it. From the still. See, Common Sense is this now out by Black Rock. Uh, uh, no, it's not out by Black Rock. It's out well, by. You go out near Black Rock? Yeah. Canyon? You've been there before? No, not Black You don't mean Black Rock Canyon. You went there before. I went up there, down the highway, and I went, turned into there, and I showed Brian where Brian Otto oh. lived. Oh. And then once we had reached the end of the road, we were like, this can't be it. So we it is near around. Black Rock? Yeah. That, came, that we're thinking about in the gap out there. Yeah. And then we turned around <clears throat> and we went back and down by Ross Park, there's a gas station out there. Uh, here's the here's the pa overpass where the freeway passes over that highway. And we went down and there was a gas station right after that. I think it's a common sense. Exactly. Do you mean on talk more about the movie, theater, movie theater or the drive-in? Are you talking about by the... You know where okay. Ross Park Drive-In is, don't you? Right. Okay, well, you drive this way on the road, a big road right here. Towards Century? Ah, uh, it's past Century. Oh, wait, I'm yeah, towards Century. Towards, 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 towards that yeah. Common Sense right there by that boat shop? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And I paid all my change there, and she laughed because I was paying in change. Okay. And then... We went straight back to my. And what my time wanted, did you say that was? Did you ask him what time that was? I missed it. I'm sorry. Right around two. Okay. And then Brian wanted me to go to his house still, and I just said I don't have the gas for it, so we just went back to my house. Went back to your house. Where'd you park this time? Uh, same spot. Okay. Did you take anything with you when you when you left your house? No. Again, it's important that you be honest with us yeah, here. Uh, um, if somebody were to see you putting a blue bag in the back of your trunk, uh -huh. were you taking some garbage out? Were you putting a garbage sack in there? Did you do anything like that? Um, no. You don't remember doing that? Mm -hmm. So somebody saw you open the trunk and you had some type of blue bag, you or Brian putting it in the back of your cars out in front of your house? Do you guys have blue garbage bags? I think we it have. could possibly be... Tinted, minor tint, blue. I believe they're blue. Okay. Probably 
Did you take the garbage out with you, dump it, and when, when you went out, or did you have the garbage? I mean, I'm just trying to figure out why somebody would see you with a blue garbage sack. Like coming out, like you're bringing the garbage out, but this like was it a morning. sack full of stuff or just? Yeah, it had. It was full of stuff. Well, it had the sack, and then you know there were some items that that you had apparently. Mm -hmm. And it went in the trunk of your car. And also, also I'm telling what people are telling us. Um, I don't know. I okay. Don't so that might be something. Not happened. Yeah. Did you take a shovel with you? Uh. I think it was Brian's shovel that he borrowed. Oh, we, we were going to build jumps in the back of his yard. Okay. In the backyard. Of For, his house. Who had the shovel then? I think it's Brian's shovel. It, so where did you put it? it? Was it in your car? Yeah, it was in the trunk of my car. Okay. So it was gone by the time we looked in your car the other night. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> so what? So what? You put that shovel in that car that night? Yeah. So he's going to just take it back to his he house. He took it back to his house the okay. next day. All right. What you guys did with the shovel? We took it back next day when we drove when I drove Brian home. Uh, he dropped the shovel off at his house. So he he was gonna build the drum square. He has in his yard, okay. his house. So why is the shovel in your car? If he's he gonna build it back from my house. I know, but why is it at your house? <clears throat> he brought it over one day, I guess. Just I don't know why. <laughs> Well, if you look in the back of my house, it's all, he probably wanted to build jumps there. What kind of shovel is it? Just a shovel. Is it a short one with a little handle or a big long? Long one. Does it got the rounded nose? Yes. Okay, not a square headed shovel? Rounded nose. Yes, rounded nose. Okay. Okay. Um, one other thing I want to touch upon at night when you're out messing around, that's why I asked you earlier, just take any masks with you. Because we have some indications that you had some like Halloween type, you know, scary mask or something. You guys playing around with those at any point in time? Or? We bought one earlier, but where'd you buy that? I just saw that. It was only seven dollars at. Well, I'm talking that night. You guys that night, had some, had some it was, Halloween. It was in my Friday. trunk of my car for a while though. Was it in the car Friday night? Uh, yeah, during. Yeah probably was. Okay. Was that the mask you guys were spray painting? Was yeah. that the one? The cardboard? Or yeah. yeah. What were they spray painting? They, they bought a, apparently they bought a plastic or cardboard mask and spray painted white, but that was some time before this day. Was it like the Freddy mask? No. I mean, it was hockey look hard white. Uh, but it looks like a hockey mask? No. It doesn't. Oh. It's a regular face. Oh. Okay. So you could have had those with you and somebody saw you with those that night messing around with them? Probably. Okay. We weren't messing around with them. Okay. You didn't put them on? No. So they wouldn't have saw two, two yahoos with those masks on? No. Okay. Was there two masks or one? One. That's all I remember is one. Let's talk about the black rock. Let's bring it up. Very important thing to us. That we got to. We got to solve about Black Rock Canyon too. Okay. okay, we got a car matching your description, going up to Black Rock area. Yeah, once we got up to Black Rock, we were like, "Oh, this is definitely not." And it. that car stopping. Uh -huh. You're not just driving; it's stopping up there. And are, did you stop for a period of time up in there? Uh, we Brian stopped to smoke. I didn't want him smoking okay. in my car. So did you guys get out? Did you walk? Did you get away from the car? Somebody. Would, Saw that car unattended? No, we did, did they not. report that as an unattended car up there? No. Okay. So you guys didn't go up there and build a campfire or nothing like that? No, no reason why they should have saw you guys playing with those matches up in Black Rock Canyon? No, we weren't doing that. You sure? Yeah. Because there's truckers that park all along that gap right there. Uh -huh. And that's what we got. We got a trucker sleeping, shut out of service that night, pulled over on the road, and he sees it. He's seeing the red car going up in there. Mm -hmm. And it's parking. Is that, is that true? Did you yeah, we park? parked there. We got out, walked around the car, I went pee, and Brian smoked a little. Had two cigarettes, I think. Okay. You know, you don't know a brand, though? Huh? You don't know what brand of cigarettes he smokes? No, I don't. Okay, so so maybe, maybe saw you up there, and um, 
Did you guys dig anything up there? I mean, because you're probably going to have dirt in the back of your car from a shovel from dirt that's going to um, forensically match there up. There's dirt on the shovel already, though. But, I mean, we can match the dirt up. This is a good thing. I mean, you can, we'll take soil samples and match that dirt up. Um, is the dirt going to come from Black Rock? I don't know. Brian took the shovel out, I think. Did he? Yeah, but he didn't take it anywhere. Okay, so is that dirt going to match up to the Black Rock area? It might, it might not. I'm not sure. Okay, probably though. Possibly. Let's talk about knives. Okay. Uh -huh. What do you know about knives? We've been told you like knives. You play no. knives? Okay. I have three knives. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, did you have a knife on Friday? No, I didn't. You sure? Yes. You sure nobody was you with a knife? Two guys in a mask messing around with a knife. No. Okay. All right. Did anybody buy you a knife? No. At Mad Mike's Pawn? No. If we had pawn slips, did some guy in the name of John bought two knives at Mad Mike's? No. To give to you and Brian? No. Okay. All right. We're just we're confirming some things. Okay. I'm, I'm going to tell you that, that we need to... Now's the time. Now's the time to... Really start start being honest with some things, mm -hmm. okay? Um, we know some things to be true. We know exactly what happened. We found some things, mm -hmm. okay? And um, I want to give you the first chance and the first opportunity. You, you owe dad. it to your mom and dad. Absolutely. You've got great parents. You owe it to your mom and dad to be straight. With we are all here for you, bro. Mm -hmm. I'm telling you. I mean, we're not here to twist anything up. We're here to help you out of a jam. If you got drug into some things, which apparently you did, we need to know and we need to know the truth, okay? Mm -hmm. I, I guess the best way I can explain it is the, the house of cards is falling. You know, and it's kind of the stories are falling apart and stuff like that. Tori, you know where we're going with this. Yeah. You know what we have. And we know, man. It's just, it's just one of those things. You come to this juncture in your life and you just either got to, you know, you either got to give it up or it's, it's, it's going to eat you up. And, and your folks want you to do that. I'm telling you. I mean, it's the truth is going to set you free on this. You know, literally, you know, but the truth is going to set your feelings free. And uh, you're going to get by this thing. But I'm here to tell you that we've been doing this for several days. We've talked to a lot of people. We've seen a lot of things. We've put the pieces of the puzzle together. That's what we do. That's all we've been doing. We've been sleeping. Okay? Okay. We know how it went down. Tell us what happened. With what? Out of Cassie's place. We went through cars, me and Brian. Okay. Um, you know, I'm not here to insult or anything, but we don't believe your story. And we don't believe your story, and I don't think your dad believes your story about going through the cars. It's it's a tough one, mm -hmm. and I don't believe it, especially because I know it's not true. Because we got you going into that house when you parked on the street. We got you going back into Cassie's house. Mm -hmm. If it was a prank, if you guys were just messing around, fine. We just need to know about that prank, you know, that's going on in there. And if it's, you're just there to scare him, you guys left, and something happened else besides that. Let's let's get that thing out of here. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. But in everything that happens, there's always people that are watching. You go around and talk to all these people, and they, they finally put together this puzzle. You got the trucker out here. You got the common sense clerk. You got the neighbor. You know, mm -hmm. you got all these people, you know, that see it. They see, you got people seeing your car park, you know, which, which you, which you cooperate for us, parking in the neighborhood. Mm -hmm. Sean, do you guys go back in just to pull a prank? Is that what happens? Um, do you guys, that kind of stuff? I mean, for all intents and purposes, and, and tell me if I'm screwed up on this. But you like you like horror movies, you like scare movies and stuff like that. That's what I've been told about you. You dig you dig those kind of movies, right? Thriller movies, yeah. whatever you want to call them. You dig those kind of things. Did you go in there just to scare them, just to scare the crap out of them, and you know, and be done with it? Because. You know, there's there's no other there's no other reason, you know. Mm -hmm. 
Tell us about that. Help us understand a little bit about it. Um. Take a deep breath and do it, but you know the truth. The truth is easy for you, but we can help you. If, if we don't get the truth, we can't come together. We can't work this thing out. We can't do it. You're going to be left out in the cold. Can I talk to him in turn? You can do that. Can you talk to me? Probably, yeah. Can I have a minute with him to see if there's sure. something you should hold? Sure, absolutely. Is this room private? You said that you um, we, can, we can kill it down. Oh, we can go in another room? Yeah, we can shift some in there. Yeah, let's do that. You'll feel more comfortable. Let me make sure there's nobody in this other room real quick. I'm going to just leave those there. We talked about this earlier. There's a room right next door. Thanks. <clears throat> He just, um, based on what the lawyer said, he's right. just worried about telling you guys anything. Yeah. Well, here's sure. the deal. We've met with him Dad, I think we owe it to you at this point to find out what we know at this point. Yeah. Okay. And there's just no easy way to tell you this. Um, we do know that uh, Sean, yeah. or excuse me, that Tori and um, Brian. Brian have gone back in the house, okay? We do know that the two of them murder. We do know that they murder Cassie, okay? We got the evidence at this point to prove that. We, we, found also, the we also have some overwhelming evidence, uh, trace evidence, that type of stuff that's going to prove that they did it as well. It's not just hearsay, it's not just somebody saying it. And then we do have a confession from another person given full disclosure. Uh, so is that in, why you want to talk to a lawyer? And here's the deal. And here's the deal with you. What what I would like to do is maybe when your wife comes back, sit down and yeah. talk to you all, get you up to speed. You know what you need to do. You know exactly what happened, and you know what you need to do. So, unfortunately, you're not going anywhere tonight. You're going to be placed into custody tonight. Okay. Um. You're I'm gonna, sorry, that's the way it goes. You're going to be charged with first-degree murder. Okay. okay. But like I said before, before you say anything, I, I encourage you. If you want to talk to your attorney, you should do that. I'm not, I'm not pulling punches here. <laughs> Still, your, your full cooperation can do nothing but help you at this point in time. You understand that, Tori? Okay. Even though you need a lawyer or whatever, you, you want to talk to a lawyer, I understand that's the advice they gave right. you today. And then you, whatever you and the lawyer work out, they want we to We know the cooperate. details. We've got the knife that you used. We've got the masks that you used. We've got the videotape. We've, we've got, there's a tape up in there that you buried. Okay? Try to catch on fire. All that stuff. You know, you know what I'm talking about. I don't need to tell you that. This is right, Tori. And what they're saying is true. So, 